All right, so that's this side. Still have some saw marks right here, and uh, those are gonna have to go later. But for the rest of the piece, I got rid of all the saw marks. So now it's time for this side. This side needs some attention. So I'll film that side after I get the platform set up. Alright, so this is what the edge looks like. I decided to go a little bit away from center line because I really need to tack this side in here. If it was going better, I'd have my edge at center line and I'd be going opportunistic. More so than I am doing now. But I have some flake scars to get rid of. Or sorry, some uh, saw marks to get rid of. It's just not my day today. There it goes. The very last bit of that saw mark was a fingernail flake and it just slid right off. So I got lucky there. That was a nice flake that fanned out for me. it when they meet like that kind of looks like one overshot flake Time to flip the edge again. I'm gonna try to focus on this area where there's still some saw marks. Then after that, we have this area with saw marks. attempt to remove the remainder of the saw marks. And if the saw marks have a ledge, I like to grind them a little bit. My grinder broke. It's because I used it so long. Alright, that helps it to be like one piece. It's not going to have a step fracture that's going to Stop my flake from cutting underneath. Alright, 
this is make it or break it well not really but I like to get rid of all the flake scars I can This flake I got to angle a little bit. That helped a lot. There's still one spot there and one spot there on this side. Yeah, it's not looking like I'll get every single bit of it, but I'm not going to speak too soon. Trying to get that a little bit from the base. Nope. I have a trick up my sleeve though, but I'm gonna have to uh make this a bi-point blade if I want to get every single bit of that yeah I'm gonna set up for that so I'll be back <laughs> 